Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. First card out is new love. I'm digging this energy, honey. Okay, new love, a new person, somebody you don't know. Keyword, you don't know them. I know that's a bunch of keywords, but and look at the bottom of the deck and this person is single. Whoever they are, they could be an Aquarius, an air sign. They could be an Aries here. This is like the full energy. Somebody fun, adventurous, single. Okay, like very single, like not attached to anybody. Okay, this is good. This is like a lighthearted somebody who loves to have fun. Um, you, I feel like this could be for somebody here who's single. Yeah, whoever this person is, they are a true gem. Okay, this is someone here who is doing pretty well because we have true gem and freedom. All right, look at this. And then underneath that energy is the dating queen. So this is this is basically somebody collective who is single. They see you as single too, but I feel like this person feels like you, you know, are so like they feel like you have multiple options. I'm just gonna they feel like you are such a great catch, or you may view this person that way too. So just flip and switch it. But I really truly feel like I'm talking about a masculine who is looking at a feminine as a true gem, someone who is single, like revered, like looked up to, like queen, queen of wands energy, like every, you may get a lot of attention or this person just might, dis even if you don't get a lot of attention, this person feels like you get a lot of attention. They feel like you're very attractive, like you're in this nine of pentacles energy. Because literally, look at that. There are like three people here trying to give this dating queen something right? They feel like you've got more than one person doting over you. You could be younger too, okay? You could be very young, okay? Look at this. I feel like, I feel like um, this is going to be good, all right? This is going to be good here. This is good. This is your good karma, I feel like, okay? This is a quality person where they feel like you're a great catch, okay? It's, it's Even though they feel like you have several options, they can see why you have so many people around them or like they just make an assumption, I feel like, collective. I feel like this person, when they see you, they make so much, like they make so many assumptions about you or you may make a lot of assumptions about them, but they're wrong. I feel like this person is wrong, okay? I mean, even if you do get a lot of attention, you're not, I'm not getting the energy of like, Oh, I'm too good for my britches or like, I, I don't britches. He says britches. <laughs> what else do we have here? I'm just saying. For the collective. Wedding. Okay, so there's something here. Somebody here could be newly divorced. Okay, because I did see the union energy. Um, but I feel like somebody just wrapped up a cycle. So like either you or this person, they're divorced. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, but I also feel like this is somebody here who sees commitment in you, uh, or yeah, okay. They see, they're going to see you as someone who, they're going to feel like this is a divine connection. Like they've known you from somewhere before. You're going to feel very familiar. Like this is definitely a past life soulmate energy here. Okay, you have known each other before. This situation involves marriage. For some of y'all, and I'm telling you this because religious factors is under the deck and then calling in your soulmate is here. And then engagement is underneath that. This may very well be like someone that you have either A, been like in a past life marriage with, in a past life you were with this person before and you guys had kids, male or female, doesn't matter here. Um, if that's not the case, I do still feel like somebody here just recently wrapped up a karmic cycle. And when I say recently, I don't mean like, you know, three months ago, like, you know, within like the last five years, I feel like this person has been waiting and looking for somebody new. They're, they feel free. And they're looking for not just anybody. This person's looking for a quality person. You know what I mean? And they see that in you. And when the two of you meet, I feel like you're going to just instantly. It's like two energies colliding where like you're going to feel this really beautiful energy between the two of you. Like there's going to be chemistry to the point where you feel like um, you've known this person before. Very comfortable feeling, right? 
So show me more here, Tarot, for the collective about this connection. I feel like this person is going to be taller than you, by the way. Much taller than you. The Seven of Wands. Okay. Show me more. Five of Swords. I feel like somebody's been through a lot of battle. Like, or you've got somebody in your energy here who, hold on. Two of Pentacles crossing. <clears throat> hold on, let's see. I feel, I was going to say, I feel like there's somebody in your energy who um, may not like this. May have juggled you in the past. This new person, though, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this new person is going to want commitment from you. I'm just telling you. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Spirit. Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. This person is going to want... They're not going to juggle you. That could be why this Two of Pentacles is here. Um, like, you know... Um, but this could also be your energy, like, weighing your options, trying to, like... You're not being... You're not very sure about this situation. You might feel like this person is playing games with you a little bit and you're like a little guarded with the seven of wands here. Like you might not even pay this person any attention at first. Be careful with that because I feel like you're not really paying anybody attention. The seven of wands is like, you know, sometimes the other seven of wands can be like standing your ground or, or protecting your energy or standing up for yourself. You know, I, with in this in this deck, this came out with this person's back, like they're not facing. And this is the um, I forget the name of this tarot deck, but they they have two sides. See, this is the other side of that, but this is this side. I feel like you've got your back facing this. You know, like I'm not dealing with anybody here who is playing games with me. I'm gonna stand up for myself. Okay, I'm not gonna be juggled. I was juggled in the past. Like, that could totally be your energy here. Again, if that's not your energy, then cool, right? Then this person is literally, like, feeling the same way about their past, especially if they wrapped up a cycle, you know? And this person's going to, they're going to know that you have or feel like, even if it's true or not, right? They feel like they got competition. And they want to make sure you know there's no confusion. This person's going to want to make sure that you know there's no confusion in what it is that they're looking for, what it is that they want, that they're looking for a committed relationship here. Because we have <laughs> wedding out here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is about stability. It's about family. It's about long-term, right, stability. This Here's the thing about this. I, this is my first time using this deck. You see how in this Ten of Pentacles, this is literally like, there's a throne here, like a, um, a throne, but nobody's sitting on the throne. These two people are in the back together, standing next to each other. This person's not going to feel like, they're, this is not somebody here, Collective, who is going to be like, they're going to be okay with relinquishing power and responsibility to you, but they're also going to be your teammate. They're not going to it's not going to be a, how can I explain this? They're going to stick by your side and want to work together. They're not going to necessarily be like, oh, I'm head of household. Like I make the decisions. I'm the, no, no. This is somebody here who I feel like is secure in their masculinity and in their femininity. They are so secure in their masculinity and in their femininity that they can stand next to you and say, no, I, they know they're the king. Hello. They know who they are. But they also feel like you are their equal is what I'm getting. It's like nobody, not one person makes this relationship. They feel like the two of you, you make it together. You, you get my drift? Like this is a, t I really feel like this is a true teammate with this Ten of Pentacles and nobody's here on, <laughs> you're going to marry this person. I'm just realizing there's somebody actually sitting in this damn chair. <laughs> But that's the energy I was getting. So we're just going to go go with it because I don't feel like I'm wrong. This is two people coming before an older male because he has gray hair. He's sitting in that chair. I thought it was an empty chair, y'all. 
but that's the energy I'm getting. All right, this is this is two people standing in front of somebody. I feel like who a, either a is a priest, a pastor. Okay, this person may want to, this could be like a, a ceremony. Someone is definitely getting married here. Whoever this new person is, y'all are definitely getting married. I know you're single now, but you won't be single for long, okay? And I'm turning this card over, the Ten of Pentacles. Look what's on the other side. That's that same person who's by himself. So this is someone here who could be a little older than you. They could have um, long hair. Because I'm seeing three cards here with a man with long hair. Okay, but um, they, there could be an age difference too, but this is like giving emperor energy, isn't it? Like this person reminds me of an emperor sitting in a chair. So this person actually already has some form of legacy. Um, they are already sitting in some form of stability, right? This is somebody here who's already built their own empire. This is someone here who might be doing very well on their own financially. And this very well could be somebody here who already has a family, like I said, was divorced at one point, but now... This person's by themselves. And there's a dog here. They may even have a dog, like a really big white dog here. Or you could have a really big white dog. So this person, is, I feel like they're comfortable right now. They're living a comfortable life. Um, but this could also be the energy of you guys on the flip side. I'm telling you, this is where it came out. And, and, and with the Ace of Pentacles following that. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So for some of you all, this person could be a water sign. Yeah, this is somebody here who's very kind and nurturing and gentle and very gentle. Whatever this person does for work, I feel like they um, have definitely built up some form of they could, they could be very busy too. Some form of, oh, Ten of Cups. I'm shuffling the deck and the Ten of Cups is here. Look at that. This is going to be somebody who loves hugs. <laughs> like they love affection. Okay. Very kind, warm hearted, nurturing person. The two of y'all might enjoy going to the beach. Tell me more about the situation. This is good. Okay, we have the Four of Cups. So, we don't know what this Four of Cups is about. Some past disappointments and some past baggage and some past burden here. But this person's going to want to invest in you, though. This person's going to want to invest in you. Okay, I feel like this is your energy here. Let me stop for just one second because I feel like this is your energy creeping in here or this could be your the, your person's. Okay, just flip and switch it. You know this is in you. Uh, four of Cups. I feel like somebody in this card, it's like somebody left the Four of Cups. There's no person here. All these cups are spilled over and empty and left on a beach. And then you see a ship, which is like the three of wands energy, right? It's like somebody left some shit that was draining, no longer, um, you know, emotionally vulnerable, right? And then somebody just got on the boat and they just left to go get something else. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They left. They left this draining energy. They left this dry situation. It's a pretty dry situation over here. And this was a very burdensome situation. Okay, Ten of Wands. Very burdensome. A, a lot of, you know, drama conflict or whatever. This I'm definitely getting this as past energy. So either this is, again, you, you know, um, or this is them. The Seven of Pentacles is here. It's like somebody was in a situation where something did not grow. You know, this person is just kind of sitting there looking at this tree that actually looks dead and their and their face looks kind of sad like oh my gosh this this tree is not growing so somebody here could have put time effort and energy into a situation maybe the both of y'all did with situations in the past when it came to your connections from the past you put in all this effort and work and hard work into something and it just ran dry. It didn't, it didn't get you a, re a return like you, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a very giving connection. It didn't, you planted seeds and you nurtured it, but like you just didn't get much out of it. And somebody here is, was so burdensome. They left this shit 
And now they're waiting on what's, they're worried about what's getting ready to happen in the future now. Show me more. Uh oh. I think I see a King of Swords. Oh, there's a King of Pentacles out here and a King of Swords. Hold on. I was not expecting that. Could be the same person. Doesn't have to be. Knight of Pentacles. Dude. Um. Let me clarify these. Because you have a King of Pentacles. And you have a King of Swords. So this person could be... An air sign or an earth sign. But let's find out if these are different people. So let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Show me the King of Pentacles. This came out in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Alright. So this King of Pentacles. Page of Cups in reverse. Give me one more for the King of Pentacles, please. Could be somebody in the past. Yeah, it was. This was somebody, this King of Pentacles. Now, if this person in the past for you is not an earth sign, this is somebody here who is um, got earth in their chart or like they're doing real good when it comes to money or stability. This could be somebody here who is a father already or for some of y'all, maybe even married, right? Or in some form of commitment with somebody else. But the Page of, the page of Cups came out in reverse and the Ten of Swords came out upright. All right. This is how it came out. So this is somebody here who's emotionally manipulative with you. They stabbed you in the back. Um, they were, yeah. There was a pretty rough, heartbreaking ending with that person. But I feel like uh, you've healed from that Sagittarius energy here with Temperance. I feel like you healed from it. Show me here. <laughs> Let me get some more information from this. Show me this King of Swords energy here. Uh -oh. Show me this King of Swords energy. Okay. Two of Swords in reverse. Show me this King of Swords energy. Interesting. I've never used this deck, so I'm like, who is this? Huh. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Oh, this is the king and the queen of swords. They both look the same. They look the same. This could be a twin. These two people look exactly the same. Okay, this was the king of swords, the first one that came out, right? And then this is the one that just came out. I think this is this is definitely the king and queen of swords. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, top of the deck is the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. So this is definitely either a past life soulmate or somebody who could be your twin. Okay? Could be very well be your twin. Like, when you see this person, you're, you're going to just know. Two of Swords in reverse. You're going to just know. There's nothing hidden here. There's nothing hidden with this person. Give me, show me more here on this King of Swords and Queen of Swords energy, please. The Hermit just wanted to come out. <laughs> the Four of Wands. This your, this is your, this is your damn twin. But uh, hello, marriage, past life relationship, true gem, new love. Definitely a spiritual connection with y'all are getting married to this person. <laughs> y'all are getting married to this person. Y'all are gonna have fun too. This person could be in really good shape here. I'm the, in the four of wands. This guy here don't have on a shirt and he got a six pack. <laughs> Can I get another card on this on this king and queen of swords, please? This is good. What, what, it didn't come out. Let's king and king, queen of swords. King and queen of swords, please. Four of pentacles. 
Page of Pentacles. And the Two of Wands. Hmm. Somebody here could be really great with money. Somebody's planning something here. This is like, could be a financial advisor, somebody who plans finances or something. Interesting. Give me one more on this King and Queen of Swords. Very strong, stable foundation, okay? We have the Four of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. That's a lot of stability. Like, there's not going to be any problems. I'm just telling you, there's not going to be any problems. What, wait, hold on. What is, why is this Five of Pentacles here? Who is this? Um... The devil card just came out in reverse. The five of pentacles and the devil card just came out in reverse. I think this might be this past person. Could be a Capricorn or an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Because this looks like this is the king, queen of wands on the bottom of the deck. You could you could be an Aries Leo or a Sag too, okay? A divine feminine air um a divine feminine fire sign. You might have detached from this to past toxic person, right? Um, let go of this thing, you know, like because you had a bad hurtful ending with this past person, right? Ten of Swords came out. You might be feeling a little bit alone, lonely right now. Look at that. Because, see, this person in this five of pentacles is, a, is lonely. But the thing is, it's just, it's not real. You know what I mean? Like, because it's death, the, the double card is here in reverse. That's good. That's actually really good. Hmm. Can you give me one more on this devil in reverse, please? Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is you walking away. I feel like you definitely already walked away and cut ties with somebody here who feels abandoned and alone or like, I just feel like this is you, Divine Feminine. You walked away from a, a situation that was toxic, hurtful, somebody who was emotionally manipulative, uh, played games. There was a lot of burdens there. It really didn't, the situation it really didn't grow into what you really expected it to. You put a lot of work and effort and time into some shit and it, for a lot of y'all it could have seemed like for a while something was going to grow and then it just didn't. It just died. You know what I'm saying? Like one minute a plant could be doing real good and then like two weeks later the dang old thing is, is sick or is dead and I feel like you just gave up on it. You stopped watering it and nurturing it um, and you walked away. Leo energy, cancer energy. You you just cut ties with anything from the past. You don't. You're 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 not. Yeah, and that includes you. I feel like you're no longer gonna be in an energy of lack. Yeah. Beautiful energy. Let me see what else we got here. How much time we got you guys hit the like button for me and if you need a personal reading that information is below in the description box i am running a 20 percent off of all reading special right now so check that out if you need a personal reading um if, if you know you don't have to get a personal reading but hit the like button or subscribe to the channel if you're new here i would appreciate it show me more here what else does the collective need to know Yeah, you are, oh, hold on. Yeah, okay. Here's the deal. I feel like you're no, you were in denial about something, like you worked on something or you were really hoping or if, if you didn't work on it, you just held on to hope a little bit longer than you really sh probably should have because you were hoping things were going with this past person was going to work. And you may have been in, in denial over something ending or this could be your person being in denial that something has ended between the two of y'all because you walked away. Because I see you, you walked away from a toxic situation or maybe even, you know, whoever this is, you walked away from it, you detached from it. 
Um, and a lot of y'all could have, when you were with this person, you felt alone and you were in a connection and it was like, what's the damn point of me being, even being with you if I'm going to feel lonely? You know, that's for some of y'all, but I feel like you're no longer, you prolonged it, but now you're not prolonging this anymore and you walked away from it. You know, it's time for you to let it go and you did let it go. And now you're going through a death and a rebirth process, you, you know, and <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Now I'm going to tell you this. This past person is going to go through a death and rebirth process too because you got new love coming in here twice. We have two cards here saying you have new love coming in too. You can see that? So this past person is going to feel it. They're going to be in denial for a little bit too. Um... <sighs> I feel like y'all are going to want to test the waters here and you're going to be a little uncertain. That's what that two of pentacles was um, for some of y'all, not for everybody, but this past person may come back around the time you meet the new person and you're not going to know what you want to do. Um, some of y'all are like, no, I want new love. This person is in from the past just lacked maturity though. And they're just in an illusion, you know? Just but I feel like for some of y'all, if this was you in the illusion, you're gonna be coming out of the illusions. You've moved on from them. You're loving yourself. Um, because you wanna be a better person, you know, you've changed and matured, but I feel like this past person has not matured. Maturity just came out in reverse. Yeah, you're going through an awakening. Good for you. Good for you. For a lot of y'all, this person really like hid their feelings. Um, or this could be you hiding your feelings with the new person. Like, I do I want to do this? I'm afraid I was hurt in the past. Show me more here. Yeah, you're going through some form of loneliness right now. That's what I was saying with that five of pentacles energy here. Can y'all see that? Loneliness. Hmm. Now, this can also be a past person that you walked away from feeling lonely about you and craving some attention from you and hoping somebody's birthday here could be in December again because this card says December. But Spirit is saying trust your angels here, okay? Because this person is not, they're, they're not going to change. They're not going to change, but, but they are going to hit rock bottom. I'm going to tell you that now. Okay. So this says the spark is gone. Somebody here is you've chosen to let go and move on. You chose a new direction. You chose a new direction because the spark is gone. You're done with this person. They betrayed you. Whatever they did, the, you're not, you're not, they can't come back from it. You you forgive them, but you're done. So I get it. I do. So you could be dealing with a like Leo, a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with uh, an air sign um, or a, a, a an earth sign. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, I love you guys so much. Bye.